In the aftermath of the second Gulf War with Iraq, chaos and violence rage out of control. The brutal terrorist group ISIS takes control of vast territory that the coalition fought hard to secure. It's beyond sad to see the direction in which Iraq has gone. But only a few kilometers from the ISIS stronghold of Mosul, the pro-Western Kurds of Iraq flourish in a peaceful and tolerant society. The Kurds have risen to a position where they are now um, power players in the establishment of long-term peace and security in the entire Middle Eastern region. Three years in the making, Roger Lindley's documentary, The Untold Story of the Gulf Wars, is nearing completion. In November of 2014, uh, my trip to Iraqi Kurdistan included a trip to the front line uh, of ISIS and uh, the Kurdish Peshmerga. The trip that I took in May of 2014 allowed me to interview the Chief of Staff of Joint Iraqi Forces. And when I returned three weeks later, ISIS took Mosul, which uh, suddenly made this story phenomenally relevant. Lindley is completing his film in his office in the Happy State Bank. His company, Corban Motion Pictures, has a purpose. To create uh, filmic and, and television events that are uplifting in nature. He's able to continue that philosophy following the success of his feature film, Taken by Grace. In the aftermath of the production of Taken by Grace, I've won uh, two or three different awards and it has uh, really opened the doors to a lot of other, lot of other projects. They're our best bet. Uh, they're our only real ally. The United States ought to be helping those who most mirror and reflect our values. It's said that every Kurd has a story. And I was in the presence of individuals who had one week early, one week earlier, witnessed the beheading of their son and were told you either convert to Islam now or you're next. And you get to understand that there's a lot more to uh, humanity than what we kind of get caught up in our own little bubbles here sometimes. The distribution of the untold story of the Gulf Wars uh, will not occur until we do a crowdfunding campaign that will pay for stock footage, rights clearance and some other things that are necessary for distribution. And so the more people that we can engage and have a conversation on Facebook related to this project, the more we can get this story that was, you know, created here in Amarillo, Texas, out to the world. Celebrating the Panhandle spirit, Larry Lemons, ABC7 News.